there is significant interest. There's a lot of discussion. Uh, there's obviously a lot of volatility in those markets. Um, I think that's representative of the fact that it's, it's early days, but we're, we're doing uh, a lot of work in our team on the research and the product development side to stay abreast of demand there. And crucially, to be very much in touch with end users on the buy side who are thinking of getting involved and investing in that space uh, and trying to reflect their concerns about getting in invested into some of those assets in the way that we build a methodology for the industry. So that's why due diligence on the activity and the exchanges is very, very important. Well, we're waiting for FTSE. <laughs> no, jokes aside, <laughs> I think uh, in making any decision to introduce cryptocurrency products, we will clearly want to apply our strengths in market infrastructure and counterparty risk management. So for starters, maybe fiscal delivery could be one mechanism to consider. And perhaps uh, whether this Bitcoin or any of the other coins, it could be a warehousable, titleable commodity in a institutional great way, similar to how we approach commodity derivatives with the appropriate clearing and uh, risk management uh, framework. That said, uh, one way to think about this is maybe to have a regulatory set sandbox mm -hmm. uh, to have participants to the ecosystem to come together to see what is the right way to introduce what I just described earlier, make it institutional grade. And uh, there are clearly, I think, significant opportunities uh, for SGX and the ecosystem to harness FinTech across the services that uh, we uh, offer. And uh, we ourselves have also invested in a uh, digital platform from uh, fixed income issuances, uh, which we uh, are collaborating with uh, Tomase after a very successful collaboration with both Tomase and HSBC in the area of uh, digital bonds. A total of uh, 2 billion sink uh, has been uh, issued. And uh, also we are looking to uh, digitize and optimize workflow and fixed income is just one of the first asset classes that we look at and we'll clearly extend that into uh, other asset classes.